I think some two, three steps will show it. That'll be sufficient. Another ball. Oh, oh. it's a rough diagram curve unable to put it properly oh, no. this is dropped from a height edge no? oh, the height edge attained by the marble this much is there Okay, let's proceed here. So first it will collide at A. Collide at B. So then this distance, let it be H. You, you can take it that collision from H to H or somewhere to make you understand, I'm taking some arbitrary point here, like they'll collide here. And this is H. H is the height of the, the width of the step it is. So even some books are pen, like they show collision from here to edge to edge. So there will be a little bit difficult for you to show at the corner. No? That's why I just shifted the diagram here. Same thing he did in the question. Okay, let's come to the problem now. In what direction the impulse will act on the ball? The impulse will act along y axis. No? So let the speed of the ball just before collision, let it be v1. Speed of the ball after collision, let it be v2. So every time, No, how you define V1 bar? V1 bar, so it will have Y component of velocity. V1 Y, it will rebound with the speed V2 Y. Same thing everywhere. Uh, and this will be X component V1 X after impact V2 X. Go back to a collision. It will approach with a velocity V1 Y at point A. Then the rebound with the speed V2Y and the quotient of restriction for each bounce is E <coughs> is equal to E. So therefore any equation can be right. V2Y is equal to E V1Y. This is one best equation what we can write it here. The first equation. Sir. Ama. Sir, at point B, how did you say that velocity will be V1 and V2 only, sir? I mean, won't the velocity change because there's a coefficient of restriction? Why you're not looking at the H? It will descend some height, no? It, it, it is not like same some, somewhere here. If it were here, then continuously what happened? It should have decreased. But look at this height, height of the step. So when it moves from year to year, here collision will occur. Then it will rebound with the speed V2. So then by the time here, it should be, you, you mean to say it's a, it should be V2 only, but it has descended some height, no? I, I didn't mean to say it's V2, sir, but I didn't mean to say it's V1 either. Look at the question, at least diagram. You are, why you are not looking at diagram? What you are thinking is correct, but look at the diagram, the way he has given. When it descends some height, it will acquire some speed V1. So you, you mean to say some V3, you write it. But you look at the pattern, how it describes. I think based on diagram, I'm assuming here, it must be V1. I, again here, I'll, I'll put it here. The 
the path what it describes no when it moves from a to b then c to c it will be same you can see that one the curv curvature everything will be same i think you, you have to look at the thing that one you see this so therefore it must be don't try it any other value it must be v1 only then only the uh, the trajectory will get repeated no it's like a periodic motion uh, first due to collision v2y equal to ev1y the other equation next other thing uh, what is v1 bar will define it v1 bar should be equal to v1x i cap minus v1y j cap or v1 square equal to v1x square plus v1y square similarly v2 bar equal to uh, v1x equal to v2x <coughs> x component will not change due to collision x component of velocity will not change due to collision so therefore this will be if you can uh, there's a the basic idea of the problem because the, how the line of impact line of impact is along y axis no so x and there is no friction between the ball and the between the bouncing ball and the horizontal surface horizontal step so v1x should be equal to v2x similarly what is v2 bar v2 bar should be equal to v2x i cap plus v2y j cap v2x should be equal to vx v2 square equal to vx square plus v2y square straight away or I'll, I'll, I'll light one more step keep this one and now can we apply conservation of mechanics between a and b applying conservation of mechanic ng between a and b at a what is the speed of the particle m v2 square by 2 should be equal to m v1 square by 2 so therefore v2 square equal to 2 v2 square plus 2 gh equal to v1 square there the equation 1 and call this equation 2 keep it here so this is about the the basic thing okay let's come for the uh, when it moves from a to b it will have horizontal displacement and also it is having vertical displacement and it will take some time to move from a to b so when it moves from a to b along y axis we will write the equation now. along the y axis we will write the set of equations so this is about the initial thing so let, let's come for some kinematics part and now what is v1 y you can write it as L writing equations of motion along y axis when it moves from a to b v1 y should be equal to v2 y minus g t a b uh, why negative sign for v1 y how v1 y will be y component of velocity will be opposite to v2 y Uh, v1y just before collision v2y after collision so v1y how it is opposite to v2y no so this is the one equation what we have then along x-axis this is along y-axis then along x-axis will write equation along x-axis how much of distance it will move a distance of h Additions of h, so therefore this h should be equal to v x into t a b. Fine. So like this is what I am just assuming things to make the diagram. Uh, now uh, this we have t a b in the picture. 
So first, what is this TAB? You can write it as TAB is equal to V2Y plus V1Y by G. Call this equation 3. And let this be equation 4. So what is TAB? H by Vx. Because H is given for us, so therefore I am trying to search some relationship. Equating 3 and 4, I'll admit TAB. Then I'll get H, V2, Y, V1. V2, one, V2, Y, V1, Y, I have equation 1. V2, Y plus V1, Y by G should be equal to H by Vx. Now what is V2, Y? V2, Y should be equal to call this equation five put one in five v2 y should be equal to how much e v1 y so this will be e v1 y plus v1 y by g is equal to h by vx so what is v1 y v1 y should be equal to g h by 1 plus e into vx so there's one very basic equation so call that as equation 6 and uh, now uh, we have v1 y is there no and v1 x is there so what was our question to calculate that vx no vx is unknown equation 6 will take it so let, let me do one thing in equation 2 so shall we substitute this v2 square as vx square plus v2y and v1 square as vx square plus v1y square. Actually when you are solving this problem students they neglect this that's why you find very difficult huh? and you take help of mathematics something. This yellow what I shared you know these two equations are very important. So substituting those two here I'll, I'll do it here in this one. v2 square what we can write vx square plus v2y square 2gh v1 square equal to vx square plus v1 one v1 y square vx square get eliminated mm -hmm. I'll, I'll scroll down okay look at this one now now v2 square plus 2gh equal to v1 square and v2y is equal to e v1 y uh, if you were all if you want you write it uh, this is something very important now substitute here so this will be e square e v1 y whole square 2 g h equal to v1 y square so this will be e v1 square 2 g h equal to v1 y square this value of v1y what you'll get you are going to substitute there this is what equation 6 huh? let me take this one e minus 1 or 2gh equal to 1 minus e by v1 v1y square so 1 it? minus e square no sir yeah so this should be 2gh 1 minus e square so this let it be equation 7 put 7 in 6 i am writing Sir, equation should be there, mm, yeah this one substituting that in 6 and 7 we'll get expression for vy so this is the root of 2gh 1 minus e square equal to gh 1 plus e into vx so what is vx is equal to so gh this will be under root of 2 by Check it once. I think we'll we'll end up this one. Two H by G. Huh? 
and uh, gh by 2 so this is the expression for vx no no uh, see collision idea is very simple now once we know vx i think we can get all other things no problems little bit calculation based once we get vx can we find out horizontal component of velocity of the marble so first is asking that one uh, a time between two successive bounces uh, what we calculated is question number 26 huh? this is 26 answer no after getting vx uh, can we calculate the a time tab substituting it here here look at this you will get tab so you do calculation later on huh? So this final answer, substitute in equation four, we'll get TAB. This is the A time. A time from A to B. And then uh, the ith attained by the marble after a bounce is, is asking to calculate this H. How to calculate that capital H? Uh, how to bring capital H into the picture? For that, we need V2, Y, no? V2Y is needed. So can we bring V2Y? From Vx, can you, we know V1Y. V1Y and you know V2Y. E, E, V1Y. 